Hey kids and welcome back. I have been making donuts for my entire school. I have made a lot of extra donuts for me and my dragon, but when I was not paying attention, he ate some of them. Sorry. When I say some of them, I mean he ate a lot. To find out how many I have left, I need to subtract three digit numbers. I could use your help. If you are willing to help me, can you raise your hand? Awesome, thank you so much. Let's get started. I am having trouble with subtracting when there are zeros in the top number. Here we have the number 400 subtract 277. I know how to regroup, and at first this looks scary, but once you understand how it works, it is a lot easier. Before we begin, let's bring in my place value house and show you what 400 looks like. In the number 400, the zeros mean that there is nothing in that place. In the ones and the tens column, we have no blocks since the number in that place is zero. In the hundreds column, we have four or four hundreds. You can see the hundreds blocks and there are four of them. Now looking back at the problem, we need to start subtracting in the ones place first. We cannot do this because we cannot take seven away from zero. We need to regroup or borrow from the tens place to be able to subtract. What number is in the tens place? Zero, right, so let's borrow from the zero. Wait a minute, we can't do that. We cannot borrow from a zero. Where should we borrow from next? The hundreds place, great job. So we cross out the four and put a three there since we are borrowing one of the hundreds. Now here is the tricky part. We cannot take this hundred straight to the ones place. We have to go down the line. So we put a 10 in the tens place. Now we can see that we have three hundreds in the hundreds place, ten tens in the tens place, and zero ones in the ones place. We still need to borrow to be able to subtract in the ones place. But now that the tens place has a ten in it, we can borrow from that. So we take one of the tens and bring it to the ones place, and that leaves nine tens in the tens place. Awesome job! We took one of the tens from the tens place and now have ten ones to subtract with. Great job, guys! Now we have ten subtract seven, which gives us three. On to the tens place, we have nine subtract seven, which gives us two. In the hundreds place, we have three subtract two, which gives us one. The answer is 123. That was so cool! Awesome job! It is a lot easier to work these problems when we remember place value. We regroup or borrow from the next digit until we can subtract. Let's try one more without using the blocks. Okay, I baked 500 donuts for my school, and my dragon ate 195 donuts. That was a lot of donuts. Here we have the problem 500 subtract 195. Just like before, we start with the ones place. We cannot take five away from zero, so we need to borrow from the tens place. In the tens place, we have zero, so we cannot borrow from the tens place either. We now look at the hundreds place. There is a five in the hundreds place, so we borrow one from it, which leaves four in the hundreds place. We put a ten in the tens place to show the hundred that we borrowed. You do not stop there since we need to get to the ones place. We now can borrow from the tens place since there is a ten there. So we borrow one of the tens and that leaves nine in the tens place. Now we have a ten in the ones place and we can start subtracting. Ten subtract five is five. In the tens place we have nine subtract nine which is zero. The hundreds place has four subtract one, which gives us three. The answer is 305. I have 305 donuts left for my school. Thanks for your help. I better get baking since I need a lot more donuts for my school. Goodbye. Thank you for watching. 
Please share the video and subscribe.